It was a sad day for us rogues. A lot of words were said. Do we mean them? Yes. Discord became a complete dumpster fire. Every single dagger became a weapon of supreme tickling. As the rogues shed tears, every other class rejoiced and were feasting on these tears. Thank God they nerfed the noob class. I took this extremely personal. How can you assume that we are just dead now? This is 2023, bud. You're not allowed to assume shit on God. This person is a weirdo for eating my tears. And who's to tell me just to play a real class? This one message opened up my eyes. I need to gain skill. So you know what we did? We did the one life challenge on Rogue after the nerf happened. Of course, we had to go with the name called Nerfed One Life because we are extremely nerfed. This was probably one of the hardest decisions since uh, Hyde is completely fucking garbage. Definitely a level one. So uh, we're really looking for a perk that we're gonna take and I think we take the silencing perk. We were really debating tumbling for a moment because I mean, it's, it's kind of cheesy, but sometimes it can work out in your favor. We ended up taking Cutthroat. And of course, we're gonna start it out with Jokester as our first perk, just because it gives you that extra movement speed and since we lost so much agility, figured why not. All right, well let's hop into the first game. Honestly, this run was pretty entertaining to me. Uh, get some good interaction coming up here right around the corner. It takes so many hits to kill these now, it is not fun. Doesn't help when you're missing a lot. I will be speeding up through this little series through all the boring parts so you're not just watching me loot the whole time. Because there was a, there was a decent amount of lootings. So we'll just speed you up to uh, the more interesting parts. Holy hell, the kill time with this dagger is horrendous. It, it hurts my soul. <laughs> At this moment, someone pops around this uh, corner. He comes through the door after I kill this. He rushed this spawn so fucking oh, fast, there. and of course it has to be at a barbarian. Get a little bit of interaction in game. Figured I'd throw some knives at him. Hey man, you even fuck. I, I I gotta kill you, man. <laughs> I have, there's no chance in in the world that I'll be able to kill you with the fucking rock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, see how many hits this takes. <laughs> oh god. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what a guy. Oh, uh, what a guy. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. I'll throw a torch down to honor you. You're the best. I've honestly never had an interaction like that in this game, so that shit was hilarious to me. We, we got extremely lucky on our first game. He even gave us some boots. Hey. Is like personal boot delivery right there. Of course, we have to go for this kill. We do take a little bit of poison, but uh, we got a healing shine right there, so we're not too worried. But holy hell, this takes forever, so I'm gonna speed it up. You are in the goblin caves. I would always kill these guys because they can drop you nice pendants and rings. Just a little tip for all you new people out there. You can just side strafe them and then jump when they're about to do their poison. You're good. It did end up dropping us pretty decent pendant. It was too will, too physical power. Can't really complain about that. Great thing about killing that centipede, if you do take damage, you always have a healing shrine here. We open up this chest and get us a nice little upgrade. A basic shadow mask. Can't really complain about plus one all attributes. We need as much agility as possible since it got nerfed by five points. He's just sleeping. A lot of this game ended up being just looting besides that first kill, which is kind of a bummer, but uh, it's a hard life out here for rogues, so we're just trying to get some like decent gear, maybe a new weapon before we really get into any fights, because we do jack shit for damage. The most damage we do is with that rupture, and it does t about 20, and then we're like tickling people in the head, man. We're doing like 19 damage headshots. It, it, it is horrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. So we just we just go through here and we loot stuff up, make our way around, maybe get some audio cues if there is anybody around. We don't necessarily want to fight, but we will if we have to. Yeah, we're just looping through here. 
Really wishing I had a mining pick. That would have been a great opportunity to score some uh, mining nodes. And then we sit here for a second, just to take a listen. Audio cues are very important. Uh, there's nothing important. suspicious going on right here. Ooh. I ended up saying that in voice chat. We hear someone else open a portal and take it. I'm kind of thinking we might be the last people due to how many people have died already. So we end up opening this portal and then we're going to go around and get a little bit more loot. We need all the experience we can get. And the biggest goal is us reaching that level 5 mark so we can take another perk and become a little bit, just a little bit more useful. I mean, it's, it's extremely rough out here. I feel like uh, every class can kind of combat you now. There's no rock, paper, scissors aspect. That might just be me. I might be a noob, like the like the comment said. I need to pick a different class, but uh, you know, it's rough, man. It's rough. I suggest any of you guys who don't play rogue to give it a try because it's in a really bad state right now. And that concludes our first game. Still level one. We sold all the random armor we picked up and made around 20 gold, and then we decided to swap out our shitty green pants for uh, some gray loose trousers. Need that agility. We could go ahead and sell the rest of our collectibles and buy some meds, because you always need those, can't have too many of them. We go over here and we're deciding between the short sword or repair. And I just feel like the short sword is in a good spot now, damage wise, and how fast it swings. It would be nice to have a repair too, but I feel like I'm gonna opt in just to get the short sword first. It just swings so much faster. We also buy a money pouch to keep our gold in because we are not using our stash at all in this series. We ended up changing our first perk to Poison Weapon because we got that Will Pendant. And then we ended up changing our second ability, which is the Silencing ability, to uh, Caltrops. I think I'm saying that right. But yeah, I just I didn't really use it. And I feel like I can kind of kite people around and hopefully get them to run into them and maybe get an opportunity to attack. All right, let's hop into game two. Got a pretty decent spawn. I don't mind this spawn at all. Um, we go down, take out these guys, and like, eh, don't say anything. I, I know I got hit right there by the first fucking mob that I encountered, but uh, we just don't talk about it. Remember, remember that rogues are just noobs. We are noobs. So uh, yeah, we can just leave it at that. And we'll go ahead and speed up through this because yet again, it is just more looting and killing mobs until we get into a little bit of action. Nothing super interesting. We do end up taking a fire here. It's kind of the perfect opportunity. You don't get a lot of opportunities to use them, so I figured I might as well use it and get that free heal. This is such an early time in the game. And then as soon as we go over here, we kill this mob. We start to hear people breaking stuff. And yeah, we have to go inspect that, see what's going on. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck's going on over here, man? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. And finally, there's a moment for me to use my cow traps, and they work. We decided to full send that. I know it's kind of risky, but we definitely got lucky. And the reason I pick up this dude's crossbow is, well, number one, I'm going to sell it, but I don't want anyone else picking it up in the lobby because that shit hurts, man. It hurts really bad. I really hope me speeding up through all this isn't too uh, excessive to you guys. Try to leave in all the interesting moments. But yeah, we're just kind of on a looting mission, getting our health back. Really nothing too exciting. Nice little green sellable, not too bad. Go up here, and then while we're coming down, we hear some commotion going on. We have our little cleric oh, friend hell here. Oh no, man, get away from me, man. You get away from me!
Hey, don't take those! No, 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 no! Hey, you watch your web! Oh, no, 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 no. Somehow this dude, this slimy dude, manages to phase through the door. <laughs> we lay down our traps. <laughs> this guy, this guy's odd to us, though. So we decide to run, because it's not really a fight I want to take. At least not right now. Because he knows our plans. I can't even hit him with my uh, cow traps. And then, of course, Holy I run fuck. into that. I'm kind of dumb. Like I said, I'm kind of dumb. We're just a new bro. Oh my god. We hear other stuff going on, so we kind of just keep pulling back. This is always a great place to loot. I don't know why people don't usually loot it. Then we sit down because we already ran through a decent amount of meds. And if I do have any on me, I don't really want to use them. And make our way back to the fight. And as soon as we walk in here, we hear footsteps. Kind of just pause to get more audio cues, maybe some visuals. And yep, it sounds like people are fighting over there. I'm hearing more spells go off, which are more PvP oriented spells. So I decided to go in, see what's actually going on. And that cleric is fighting this barbarian. Hey, you gotta kill that! You gotta kill that guy, man! He's gonna kill you, you gotta get him! Oh, he killed you, bro. <laughs> I kind of fell to the floor. You know, this is a perfect opportunity. Uh, like I said in game, I don't mind if I do. I go and steal all the good loot. At least all the good loot that I think he has in the time that I could be there. Get a nice little upgrade, so, uh, ring and pendant. Yes, yes. And yeah, we just make out like little rat rogues that we are. Free loot, can't complain. We do wrap around here though to see what this guy's doing because he did have a lot of mobs on him, so I don't know if he took any damage, but there's a wizard there and I don't want to deal with that. Take one more look and eh, not really worth our time. Fuck that guy. Yeah, I said in game, fuck that guy. He's buffing up fully there. I'm greedy, I decide to loot. I'm a little rat rogue. But I decide to pull back. And, uh... You know, maybe next game I'll get him, you know? <laughs> but we decided to just take this portal out. There's two dead people here, too. Loot up a little bit more, because we're greedy, even though we have a full inventory. These guys do have a few good things for us, such as potions. I don't know if I took any of those invis pots. A decent dagger, but like they do no fucking damage, so I don't even know why I took that. Yeah, we're just trading out our shitty gems for the healing pots. A little bit of an upgrade of gloves, magic, damage reduction, and agility. Can't really complain, and that concludes game two. This guy was fucking terrifying. That guy was really fucking terrifying. It's not even that geared. Holy shit, dude. Ooh, magic healing. A fucking garbage loot. Instantly went to sell all of our trinkets and weapons and garbage shit we got. We honestly made a shit ton of gold off this run. <laughs> I think a little bit over 200. And with that gold, you know what it means? Gambling time. And gambling paid off for the first time oh. ever. Pretty solid stats for like poison build. And it gives me that agility and extra health, so I'm, I'm really satisfied with that. I'll go ahead and show you guys everything that we got from these last two games as upgrades. And if you've really enjoyed this type of content or this video, make sure to hit that like button. You've already made it to the end. And yeah, also subscribe. I don't know why you haven't yet. Anyways, much love until next episode. Bye-bye.